Our other big story today, he was disruptive, removed from the courtroom. He even took his shirt off at one moment. Hours later, the court finally heard opening statements for the trial for the man charged with driving through the Waukesha Christmas Parade. Our Sam Kramer joins us live tonight in Waukesha, where Daryl Brooks also cross-examined two witnesses today, Sam. Yeah, hi there, Steph. Brooks was not polished, but he does show that he has some understanding of what's happening inside the courtroom behind us, so much so that Judge Jennifer Duro commended him for taking part in asking some good questions. But all of that came after a powerful prosecutor's opening statement and some new details from two witnesses. In his opening statement to the jury Thursday, I think you'll see from the videos there was a true sense of joy in the air. It took Assistant District Attorney Zachary Witch out just seconds. Daryl Brooks killed that joy. He replaced it with terror, trauma, and death. To paint Daryl Brooks responsible for the Waukesha Christmas parade attack, describing future testimony here from surviving members of the Dancing Grannies. They will describe seeing pom-poms in the air, and the next thing they knew, there were bodies on the ground before the pom-poms hit the ground. Brooks deferred his opening statement, saying he didn't have enough time to prepare. So the state introduced two witnesses. First, Waukesha Police Sergeant David Warner, who described what he heard over the radio after seeing Brooks' SUV enter the parade route. His most terrible thing I ever heard. The sounds. Yes. Next, Corey Runkel testified she became close with the mother of Brooks's child, Erica Patterson. According to her testimony, Patterson told her that Brooks was beating her up. So she and a friend ran to her, as seen on surveillance, where a fight ensued. He told Erica that he was going to find her and he was going to kill her. Brooks then cross-examined her for around an hour, asking questions like this after she admitted she was drinking to challenge her credibility. Would that have impaired your thinking of the situation in any way? No. So based on the state's opening statement, we expect to hear from more Waukesha police officers tomorrow. Those police officers were stationed along the parade route. They will provide some you know, testimony as far as what they saw, what they heard. We also expect to hear from a Waukesha firefighter who really directed and was involved in the medical response down on Main Street. We're live tonight outside the Waukesha County Courthouse, Sam Kramer. Fox 6 News. We've seen a lot of antics, including this morning, but now we are underway. All right, Sam, thanks.